Can I combine the three phases of a three phase alternator in series to obtain approximately 90% of their sum's voltages? I have an electric motor powered three phase car alternator to experiment with whose stator phase voltages can go up as high as 20 volts. I wish to use the combined outputs to power a neon bulb through a transformer and if that works I will try powering a Tesla coil. If I can do this and show at least 90% of the summed voltages being combined in series wouldn't this be a sort of time distortion? Yes we're asking that. We're going to go through this demo. After all when one phase is at 1 volt the other two phases would be at 0.5 volts. Does this at least mean I could obtain a doubling of phase voltage but not a tripling? This was put on YouTube. It's about to be expired. And they already kicked the other one out in the engineering department of that question. They deleted it. Well, I'm going to provide an answer for them. And here we have an answer down here. Actually, I believe the sum value will be zero at all times due to the phase difference. Yes, so, yeah. However, if you are able to invert any of the phases with a one-to-one -one transformer before doing the summing, then yes, it might be possible to get a two-time sine voltage as the resultant. Okay, that's part of the strategy that we're using here. <sighs> I'll put that meter back down here. On the system that we use to accomplish all these effects is a nine coil source or nine unit source and two secondary, three secondary sources. And this is referred to as the 666 uh, pancake coil system. Each of them spots or polar activities, six of them, will be at one sixth of a cycle. By re virtue of reversing the middle connections, when we make the spirals, spi phases spiral around each other, this will re uh, record a new uh, inductance by this practice, the mutual inductance between phasings and we retune thereby by adding an equal and opposite capacity. In this system we can obtain about a tenfold voltage rise uh, by relying on the mutual inductance of the adjacent phasings. It's also a heterodyne system. We're not going to go into that yet. The heterodyne causes it to cycle up and down in value. But you can see that on the scope and the periods of one complete cycling around each other. Okay, however, here now we're putting secondaries on this system. Those are represented by the, that uh, black checker with white stripes around it. And blue is phase two. We got a secondary under there. Then we got to put a secondary over phase one and phase three. We're going to put them in series that was shown in this placement and we have meters to record all their individual voltages and some voltages. So we'll go ahead and turn the process on, get the meters going and show indeed that we can obtain a near triplicate of voltage. It's actually 2.27 not 21 seventh, a short 1 seventh. We also have meters in between 
the phasers to be explained. Right now we have spiral sensors over phases one, two, and three. Show them respectively is 5.3, 5.1, and 4.9. Sensors are picking up a little bit more than that. They're picking up those quantities. That's three coils in series. Here's the result of them three coils in series. 15.18 volts. That's the best I can get that. Okay. In addition to that, across every two sets of coils, we have a voltage reading. So that we have 9.6 volts be able to record all this in one picture. That looks satisfactory to me. Maybe about 5.9 around. Okay, that's it. Okay, now that might be true that you're getting this. I don't know if that 15.26 is viewable. That's the totality of it. We have, uh, like all the other stuff, we have to be able to take a picture in time simultaneously for the five and six quantities. We really don't like that 15.20 being like it is. This is the unloaded state. In the unloaded state, we have excess voltage because the phase angles don't match. We got 9.6 volts between 5.5 and 5.2, and then we got 108 volts between 58 and 52. What is that side there is almost completely opposite. So what will happen, the side that's completely opposite will overrule the other side placed in series so that it has a different total resultant current than what its phase would make. This in turn makes that part a generator with respect to the source stator, thus changing the stator voltage or making that phase uh, not contribute or receive minimal energy into the process. Okay, we're going to uh, turn our main amperage meters on. We 
have no draw yet. We have no draw. Oh, this has got a little bit longer overdue than I wanted. We're going to hook a neon bulb to that draw and look at how those things will change. We got the 15.2 volts going to the primary, the 42 to 1 step up transformer. Finally powering something. There's the bulb. Now that we finally powered something, we find out that this over unity kind of shit, whatever it was, that disappears. So now that we only got 3.1 volts between 1.7 and 1.8. And 3.42 between 1.8 and 3.5, and we're only using 4.48 input volts into that 42 to 1 step up transformer. Which is right there. Okay. We have a primary draw. Of 0.96 amps. Now we're going to change that load to a capacitive load. A 50 nanofarad capacity. Now power in the 50 uh, nanofarad capacity. Yeah, it's only three volts, is it? It's only three volts. Yeah, that's through the transformer. And on that capacity. We have 23 milliamps. That's times seven for the voltage. So we're only up to about 175 volts probably. Now we're gonna go ahead and hook up an equal reactance coil well, uh, across there. Let's note that our primary amperage to the device rose to 1.18 amps which is over what a short would give we should probably short that out and demonstrate that right now Now this is extremely important to demonstrate that. Uh, 
looking normal phase angles I suppose. Now finally we're going to do a power factor correction by adding that coil in parallel. between 45 and 49 we've got 95 between 55 and 45 and we have a net voltage pushing 13.4 volts into the transformer charging that cap we're going to call that quits for now and come back and try to analyze those particular phase angles or on the YouTube site itself that will be done and posted later on further messages. Thank you. <laughs> 